since we're going back to the two since we're going back to the two thousands, because this family's from from two thousand and two, I figured that I'll shoot it on the two thousand eleven camera because why not? My Nikon Corpix S thirty one hundred, which was released in two thousand eleven. <coughs> Anyways, here is an honest review on a two thousand and two Woolworths nine inch desk fan. Now, in my opinion. This is one of the good 2000s fans, better than SMC, better than anything from any, any, other, any other 2000s fan I've had, and it actually feels good quality. Here's the fan itself, it has translucent blades, translucent grey blades, with some good pitch, as you can see. That pitch is pretty good. <coughs> I'd have a drink in a minute. Anyways, I'll take after this video. The guard or the grill is very good quality. It's taking a lot of strength to bend that. And it's actually good quality unlike most modern 2000 fans. The clips feel well made, the base feels well made, the plastic is very sturdy. Got two speed settings with push button controls. Here's a side view of the fan. And the back. The back doesn't look ugly in my opinion, but that's but a fan needs to perform well and not it looks it looks don't matter about a fan it's about performance that ma and build quality that matters and I can only tell you the motor housing is probably the biggest letdown of the whole fan to be honest it doesn't feel as well made as the rest of the fan itself but the handle feels well made you know you can bend it handle is nice and easy to grip which is good to see and it has the clicky tool adjustment I know for some people that the although I prefer the knob adjustment this clicky adjustment is nice however it can be a, that's how far to talk down to dry can tilt far enough down to dry your floor and this stuff I like to talk up not very far up though, sadly. Anyways. Here's the information sticker. Interestingly, it uses the a guard retaining nut to, ho to hold the base on, which I think is really in a really interesting design of the fan. So this is the information sticker. <clears throat> and let's look at the details here. Remember, I'm filming on the 2011 camera, so... Two sixty H, twelve sixty. Nine inch test fan, two hundred forty watts, fifty hertz, thirty watts, and made on made in November two thousand and two. You can see the oscillation mechanism, which is quite interesting. You don't see that. Much on on the bottom fan, you don't see the oscillator arm out like on that. I can see do it. Here's the plug. It comes with a MS plastic plug. Just your box standard plastic plug. But it's like the rest of the rest of the channel got a dry skin there. Let's get it off. Forget it, I'll get it off after I've done the video. That's just a bit of dry skin, don't worry. The plug does rattle, but the plug does feel very good quality and the plastic feels better made than modern plastic plugs. It's got this label on it. Tells you how to wire it and stuff. The cord, like, although it's thin, it does feel well, it does like a well made cord. It's Look this fan back in. And now we're going to demonstrate this fella. 
Oh, it has, it has, this is like the pithy has three screw holes. Sometimes the only problem with that is I ended up putting the screw in that hole or that hole. Anyways, let's put this fan. So here it is low. It sounds different to, the, different to your normal 9 inch desk fan because of the blades. It makes a quite interesting whirring sound. And I'll tell you something, it moves a pretty good breeze in low. In fact, that's how far it moves the yeah, air about there where my hand is. And here is high. It might sound like it sounds like a plane taking off, like one of those private jets. It sounds like a private jet. But quiet, obviously. Is your coast down? Pretty good coast down. Now we're going to do oscillation. To engage oscillation, it's just like most fans. Push down on the knob. Put up to, to activate the oscillation. And here is high. Oscillates really, really far, which is nice. Although I don't use oscillation that much, it's a good feature nonetheless. Here's low. And here's off. Now we'll get our startup sound. Coast down here. So overall, and build quality nine, which is rare for a modern fan. You wouldn't, I wasn't usually given a modern fan this score, but. Considering how you've seen the build quality on this fan, it's really, really good. Airflow, it's average. Oh, it's, well, it's actually above average, I'd say about 7 out of 10. And, yeah. It overall, build quality, overall, I'll just give it, an, I'll give it a 9, an hour, 9 out of 10, which is rare for a modern fan. Thanks for watching.